Hi folks and welcome back to another episode of the Babbling Beer Review at the King and Dragon on a lovely Friday evening. And what better way than to review this lovely liquid sunshine pad out I've got than on a day or an evening like, like this evening. It's been a glorious day again hasn't it? Having like a lovely summer's day. Uh, what more could we ask for eh? Sun, time off, nothing bank holiday and, and a few beers. Fantastic. So yesterday um, I, I was reviewing the Grim Reaper from Celtic Brewery and as I said I did say I would uh, do another one of these with the beer that I've just picked up as well uh, that I've got today <laughs> of course I have I told you they're a babbling beer review you know I mean babbling mumbling whatever you want to call it so yeah it's um, a bit different from yesterday's one obviously yesterday was a lovely six percenter from Celtic Brewery the Grim Reaper ooh, 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 Grim Reaper is a good one well worth a look check that beer out that is fantastic and as i said we we're going to start rating these beers now i don't know why i said nine a nine percenter 10 10 9 10 10 percenter nine percenter but our scale will be one to ten so if i do end up saying silly stuff like that i hope you understand what i mean guys as i said babbling beer reviews um and that's normally before beer this is a thing. <laughs> it's before i've had a few of the lovely jars so yeah, this one here is from, as I say, Celtic Brewery again. It is liquid sunshine in a glass. Oh, I've heard that a few times from different breweries actually. It's uh, liquid sunshine. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at it. It is a lovely 4.5%. Very nice. That's a 500ml bottle again. Uh, is there you go, a Phoenix Parallel from Celtic Brewery, 4.5%. I wonder if it's as good as the one I had yesterday, because that was a lovely bit of that. What does this one say? Let's have a look. At Celtic Cornish Brewery, our innovative craft beers are expertly brewed in Cornwall at our own brewery, where we simply blend creativity, passion, expertise to produce exquisite beers. And as I told you in the last video, if you haven't seen it, um, it was um, started by Stuart Heath, this brewery, in, in 1997. Um, apparently he had some sort of agreement with his landlord, uh, the pub he went to, that if he brewed a superior pint, he would put it on his taps. And I guess that he did that. Um, won a gold award for his first beer that he produced. Um, and the rest is history. They've gone from strength to strength. And I say, I've tried that beer yesterday and I thought it was fantastic. So, And I'm not a match of a, as I keep saying, a, a bottled beer lover. But... I'll do these, so I picked them up, I was in the supermarket, saw them on the shelf for a couple of quid and thought I'd try a couple of bottles, I want to try their beers, I've checked the website out, no polypin bags unfortunately, on there there is a 5 litre keg and bottles that you can purchase, check that out at celticbrewery.co.uk, um, that's Celtic with a K, and I will obviously, hopefully at some point be able to get some from them, maybe if I can have a chat with them, as I said in the last video, we could get a poly pin and try that and see what it's like. Hopefully, you know, they might do that. Uh, let's, let's see how we go, shall we? But, I mean, as I say, I don't normally do them a couple of quid, I want to get a flavour and taste of their the, the brewery, so I thought let's just do it, let's check it out. So, anyway, without further ado, let's have a little look. Um, as I say, again, lovely Phoenix Parallel 4.5. Um, Let's have a look, what does it say? Phoenix Pale Ale is a refreshing and fruity uh, beer with a well balanced smooth hop flavour. So that sounds quite nice doesn't it? And as I said yesterday they've won awards for their beers so if you check out their site the Grim Reaper had double gold at the European uh, Beer Awards. Uh, I'm not sure if this one have won one, you'll have to check the website out but they've, they've got a couple that have had silver and gold so definitely worth a look, definitely. Worth a look, and that is a bit lively, folks. That has gone off with a bit of a, a bit of a rocket. That one, I don't know what's happened there. <laughs> oh, love it! Oh, you got to love it, didn't you? Yeah. Half <laughs> a bottle in the in the beer tray. Somebody shook that one up. That's what I'm sure they have. I'm sticking to it. They've shook it up. Terrible. Waste half a beer now into the into the drip tray. So uh, waffle on a bit. Cool, that smells lovely and beery though. Whew. Yeah, that's a nice beery smell when it stops uh, doing what it's doing. All that gas out. 
Absolutely wonderful. That's terrific, isn't it? Yep. And I know what else I haven't done, which I keep saying I'm going to do. I better just turn that off a minute so you guys don't get that interruption of that speaker. <laughs> this has happened previously. Um, yeah, let's have a look. Look at it. Look at it, still frothing out. <laughs> <laughs> Not what you want when you're doing a beer review, is it? Eh? No. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Never good, never good. Carbonation, see? Shake the bottles up, and this is what happens, isn't it? Okay, let's see if we can get that poured into my glass. Let's see, shall we? Oh, look. Liquid sunshine in a glass, eh? Very, very lively again. As we see, look at that. I mean, it's a nice colour straight away, but awful pouring again. If we're rating my pouring out of 10, it's got to be minus 10, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's a combination of the bottles, it's not me. Maybe we should put an angle, but then, you know, I won't be able to hold the phone talking to you guys. I'll have to get a tripod or something to stand it on. Make life a lot easier, wouldn't it? So, yeah. Loads of froth. That's going to take a little bit of settling out, isn't it? Blimey. Look at that. Half and half. <laughs> half and half. Did you ever have that? Half and half. Yeah. Perhaps put it in the comments. You know, what did you have? What would, what would you call it? Share that information with us all. We've got half and half. Lager and cider. Rattler. <laughs> Uh, what was it? Black and, black and tan, wasn't it? Something like that, anyway. Let's have a little look. Loads of froth on there. Let's get a quick taste of that in the bottle. Yeah, it's definitely more of a fruity one, that one. Definitely. Fruity for sure. Hmm. It's quite a light light hour, that one's quite light, light tasting. Didn't taste too fizzy actually, that's because all the gas has just escaped from the top, hasn't it? Because it's exploding everywhere, aren't they? <laughs> um but there we go. No, that doesn't taste too bad at all. Lots of carbonation as they say on that one. Probably too much, I think. There we go. As I say, they are in, they're, they're, this Celtic brewery is based in Red Roof in Cornwall. It's been going since 1997. Um, I started on the Lizard Peninsula, as I said in the previous video, the Roseland Lizard Peninsula, in a disused stable block. And a 2.5 microbrewery set up. And as I say, it's gone from strength to strength. Um, and they've been around several years, I suppose. As far as I've noticed them sooner, to be honest. I think as I've started doing these reviews, I'm sort of thinking a bit more about it and looking a bit further afield to see what we, you know, what's out there. And obviously, when I'm just walking for a sip, I see it. And I think we, are, I did mention about I'd seen them, and I went to taste their beers, and I spotted these on the shelf. So I thought, let's just check it out. Let's take a look, see what they're all about. Um, get an idea of the flavour. As I said, never going to get. The real idea until you know we get it from the draft but they have got their own pubs as i said in the in the previous video as well um that they supply so i'd imagine this stuff is on the pump uh on a regular basis isn't it it's got to be lovely to be from that i'd love to try a pint off of the pump that's what um, i'm trying to get out there my babbling review as i said Oh, excuse me. Uh, yep, let's have a quick butchers. So that's all out now. That's all out into the glass. Uh, as you say, let's see, we can look at the froth on that. Should we stick a flake in that? Oh, yes. A 99, isn't it? Right. Look at that. But let's just go straight in for it, shall we? Let's have a look.
loads of fluff in my beard for later. Yeah, that's all right. That is. That doesn't. Yeah, is it, it even? Although it, so it looks very fizzy. Come on, the actual beer itself. That's that's quite smooth tasting. That is. That isn't bad at all. That that isn't. It's very sessionable beer. That a few bottles of them in your garden through the sunshine. Liquid sunshine in the grass. Yeah, refreshing. Yeah, it's definitely refreshing. Fruit with all balanced, smooth hop flavour. Yeah, and it's smooth. Yes, definitely very tasty. Very easy to be easy drinking, sessional beer, 4.5%. I mean, that, there's some people that might be a bit too strong, but it looks a bit hazy, doesn't it? It's almost like it's got a got a summer haze on it. No. Summer haze. Can we get that in there so I can try and get the best light for you guys? Oh yeah, you can see a bit of the reflection. Look. Yes, yeah, it's, it's got a. It's definitely got a haze to it, hasn't it? Look. And that one yesterday was was a dark beer, but very clear. I mean, it could just be that's a little bit. It has got a, definitely a summer summery haze to it. That's what we'll call it. So yeah, not as clear as the ones that I've shown you in the previous videos, but very nice looking anyway. And as I say, very smooth tasting. So yes, on the uh, do I buy it? Don't I buy it? Yes get it definitely a nice sessional pint you can have a few of them with the friends family yeah. and that, the only thing is it could be dangerous actually 4.5 you could drink a lot of it because it's very easy drinking that very easy you know that, that, that is especially if you're out in the sun enjoying yourself and that's cold chill down the fridge they're going to go down really quickly and, and, and nicely then so yeah that's another, another another good one from Celtic we like that one another one that's, that's a good job Celtic brewery that's Phoenix Pale Ale Celtic Brewery 4.5% in a 500ml bottle as I say check out the website you will be able to get uh, uh, bottles of beer and 5 litre kegs delivered sent to you I'm sure if you check it out go and do a bit of shopping on there have a look and there's loads of lines as I said in the previous video loads of Pale Ales loads of different bitters different strengths so well worth a look I'm going to rate that at a I think for a bottle of beer, you know, I mean, I think the one yesterday was was a nine. I thought that was fantastic. So I don't think it'd be fair to rate this higher than that one. But are these, this this guy, as I said yesterday, he's, he's very good brewery. This is this is they've got some real decent flavours in their beers. I, I yeah, definitely serious taste and stuff. I mean, I could drink that easily as well. I mean, as I say, compared to yes, that was that was as good. Obviously, this is lighter. This isn't a six percent there, but. If we rate it as a sessionable pint, and from a bottle, um, I say I wouldn't give it a higher rating than the, the Grim Reaper. So I, I don't know. I mean, let's go with an eight point five, just to be fair to the Grim Reaper, because as I say, from the pump, these beers are going to be uh, tens all day long. I'm telling you now, you go you go to a pub and try this, it'll be it'll be a ten, ten plus for the Grim Reaper. Um, for, for you know on the 1 to 10 scale and the only reason rating this I suppose that I do because they're coming out of a bottle but that is that's actually very smooth I mean I thought yesterday was smooth but the... yeah it's very little fizz in that one I mean that's how, as live as it come out I mean must be look it's going down lovely like liquid sunshine oh yes <laughs> yeah Definitely check that out. That is, yeah, we'll go an 8.5 for that one out of 10. Um, I would give it a 9. I even said, I suppose higher than that, really, but we'll keep it 8.5 just to be fair to the other one because, yes, this Grim Reaper, really strong, fantastic beer. Um, but this one is, is up there as well. I mean, I can't wait to try a few more of theirs, and I'm not, I'm not a massive bottle lover, but they've got several out there to try. I'll have to try them and work through them and do little reviews and see how they compare, but. Yep, definitely get it. Well off a look. Put it in the comments if you do buy it um, and what you would rate it out and what you think. Bear in mind as what I'm saying is, uh, you know, I'm reviewing off of a, of a bottle base. If I was reviewing it out of bottles and not comparing it to, your, you know, your live hours of your pump, I'd rate them higher. But 
I suppose in my head I'm always comparing it to beer from the pump, which isn't fair really to the, the, the bottled beer, but very nice, very nice. Check it out, CelticBreweries.co.uk. Um, yeah, buy some if you can. Lovely beer. All right, so thanks a lot. A bit less than yesterday. A load of waffling, babbling. Sorry for any little mishaps throughout the video. Sometimes I get a bit tongue-tied. That's why I say babbling. Um, I think the more I drink, the extra the easier. It flows, doesn't it? It's not everything. Isn't it? <laughs> the old ball bleep corner. That's what this is. <laughs> anyway, guys, yes, check it out. Very nice. Lovely colour. I don't know, it's, not, it's very clear isn't it, very golden looking, like sunshine, liquid sunshine on a glass. A little bit of a haze on there, not so clear, but yeah, definitely fruity, smooth, nothing overpowering there. Very, very well balanced flavours in there, same as yesterday. I mean, I think, although the, the roasted grain sort of shone through that point yesterday, the Grim Reaper. Um, this is completely balanced, it's just a nice all round all well rounded pint let's put it that way all well rounded so yeah definitely check it out and try some um, enjoy the bank holiday weekend guys don't do anything too crazy um, keep safe uh, obviously enjoy your beers enjoy the sunshine and whatever you're doing have a great one all right and i'll catch you guys on the next one take it easy